Monica After Story added a new feature in which you can add custom music to the game. This is from the official website, so you can read the four steps. First of all, you need your music file to be in an OGG format. Then you need to open the game directory of DDLC and create a new folder marked as custom underscore BGM. Then you just need to put your file in that folder. And that's basically it. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all this. Now the first problem I think you might encounter is the fact though that most music files are either in mp3, mp4, or wav format. So you need to convert them to OGG. To do that what I did was I used this website which converts them, you know, audio files into OGG and it can convert it to other formats also. It's this website, I'll include a link in the description. I am not affiliated with them but I found it was easy to use. You basically just need to upload your file and click on convert and then you can download the converted file and that's basically it. So once you have your file in OGG format, then you need to go and open the game directory. So I'm using Steam, so if you're not using Steam then just access the files like you normally would. In Steam, you basically just go to Properties and then Browse Local Files and it'll take you to this main directory page. One mistake that I personally made was that I went into the Game folder instead of the main directory, so don't do that. Go to the main directory page and create a new folder. and call it custom underscore BGM. Right, I think I'll zoom in a little bit. I had my file already copied on the clipboard, so I just pasted it. Now, if you use the method I told you, as you can see, the file ends in .ogg.opus. And the game will not read it like that, so you need to rename it. You just need to delete the OPUS at the end. And that's it, basically. It won't work, of course, if you have an MP3 or MP4 file. This works because it is an OGG file. It just has that extra extension, and you need to delete that, or the game won't recognize it. After that, you can rename your file whatever you want. I mean, that's a bunch of numbers is a pretty weird thing because. Uh, Based on that, it'll appear on your game. So I'm just going to name it Pokemon May Theme Ruby because it's May's theme from Pokemon Ruby. That's what I'm putting in. So after that, you're basically done here. You just need to open the game like you normally would. If you're wondering why Monica thinks it's morning when it's clearly night outside, it's because I made, you know, sunset pretty early in one of my previous videos. Don't worry about that, that's just a minor detail. It doesn't matter that much. That's kind of corny, but at the same time very sweet. Anyway, just go to music. And as you can see, our file's been added, and you just need to click on it. And now it starts playing. It's really as simple as that, and I think you can add as many files as you want to. I don't know if there's a limit right now, but that's basically how you do it. If you have any more questions or this didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys might have. And don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.